tonight, Ian hits a cow. I crash into a van. And Sam says, wow. Wow. SUVs. Recently, it seems like every car manufacturer in the world is obsessed with making these type of vehicles. But why? Why are these vehicles so popular? Well, to find out, the producers had challenged us to go out and buy what we thought were the best SUVs in GTA Online and arrive at a car park just outside Sandy Shores. And Sam was the first to arrive. And this is what I have been given, a Fister Astrid. Yes, that is right. Fister have decided to use their sports car DNA and put it into an SUV for some reason. Um... To help save Sam from running out of things to say, I was then next to arrive in a very yellow SUV. And this is what I've been given. This is the Lampadati Novak. And um, wow. I, I really don't know much about it. Um, it it's yellow. It's got four wheels. Um, it's, it's, it's Italian. And obviously Lampadati, famed for making their uh, famous sports cars. Um, oh, thank God Ian's here. Ian, hello, welcome. Hey guys. We were just talking about our SUVs and, and you've got a, a blue one. I have got a blue SUV, yes. This is the Ubermax Rebler GTS. Nice. Yes, it is nice. I agree. As is Sam's in a matter of fact. But I, I have to say, Ian, I, I really like yours as well. I think the colour really works well. The little oh, bit of thank red. Thank you, yes. Yeah, it's, it's nice to drive from what I've driven what, so far. Why, why do you like Ian so much? What's your fascination with the Look, the Tom, Uber just nobody cares about yours. Right, you say no one cares about mine. Now, I know you two didn't bring any facts with you to this, but I just want to bring up the conversation of pricing. Now, my Novak is $608,000. That's a pretty what? good price. Now, Ian, your wonderful Rebler, uh, that is 1.2 million. Yes. So that's quite expensive. Sam, um, do you know how much the Astron is worth? Standard, completely stock, no extras. No, 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 no. no. It's 1.5 million dollars. Yeah, but look at the car you get for it. It's a Fister yeah, that, that looks like it's eaten all the chocolate bars. No, it doesn't. And then it's not been able to lose the it weight. Look it's fat just... at all. It looks sleek. It looks. It's a jacked up comet. That's it's exactly a fat it Fister. Eventually, the producers stepped in, told us to stop bickering, and informed us that our first challenge would be in grapeseed. So we got in our cars and hit the road. Grapeseed, uh, famous for not being Los Santos. Um, right, challenge. Okay, it says sport. To prove how sporty your SUVs are, you shall now complete three laps of a rallycross circuit in grapeseed. Rallycross. That's SUVs. Yes. Right. I mean, in terms of the sportiest car here, I think Lampadati is the sportiest name. So I may have an advantage. These all have racing pedigree. So for our first challenge we were going to find out which one of our cars was fastest on a racetrack that the producers had made in Grapeseed. They placed down some obstacles, this was the starting line, blah blah blah, you know the drill. Look at this. Wait, what? Oh, it's... I think <laughs> it's a bit unfair. <laughs> they run out of room. I'm starting on the grass already. <laughs> anyway, despite the slightly odd starting line, it was time for three laps around the farm GP circuit. And a fantastic launch for the Astro there, lovely stuff. Oh my god, look at Ian in the Ubermac. Whoa, this is faster than I was expecting. He's just come through like a little rocket ship there. Whew. Oh, I've got a good X out there. There's Sam. Gotta make sure. I oh my Let's god, go a little he's bit cut me off. I'm not gonna have Tom come through like that. Oh, well, if I could keep this lead going, that'd be lovely. Look at Ian go. Oh, there's farming equipment there. Nice, glad to see the producers cleared up the track. Oh, he's sliding a bit. Can I get him? Oh! He's running really wide. Come on, speed up. We can get it. We can get it. Holy! Some oh serious God. air. Oh, Sam is right on my I bottom. Him. Be careful, Ian. He's run wide. This is amazing. Why don't SUVs do this more often? SUVs were made for racing off road, not taking kids to school. Oh, Sam is right. Well, Tom is right there, too. I don't like this. Oh, no, he's going to come through. Oh, it's from last to first. The Novak takes the lead. Oh, and then it's immediately lost. Oh, what a send. Oh, where's this acceleration? Come on. That Aston's got so much grip. Oh, God, he's gone a bit wide. 
Oh, God. Oh, that was close for Sam there. Look at the speed of that Ubermatch. That is ridiculous. He's overtaken me in the air. Right. Just be careful now, Ian. Oh, God. Right. It's the final lap, and it's still pretty much all to play for. Look at Ian go through. Look at the speed of that thing. Sneaking by. What we're proving here is that the second most expensive car is the best. All right, come on, no drift oh around Oh my corners. god, I've gone for a little lunge, I had a little Where did he come from? There is no hope in hell that we are catching up with Ian. But if I know Sab, he is going to give it his everything to try and beat him. A point that was proven just moments later. Come on, come on. Just keep this lead, Ian, don't make any mistakes, no, 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 no pressure. No, 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 push too wide. Right, I'm going to have to be a bit brave in these last few quarters. Oh, I say brave, that was just stupid. Sam's gone off. <laughs> He's had a moment. Yes, we're through. Where's Sam gone? What happened? Into the final quarter. Oh, oh I'm on two There's wheels. Tom on two wheels and across the line. Right, that was ridiculous. That thing is a rocket ship. How the hell did you go so fast over the jump? Well, it was all thanks to me, really. Put my foot down and off it went. No, the, I refuse to believe. The acceleration on that thing is insane. But you see how well controlled it was, you know, it was all, all you know, kept in first most of the time. It, it, it's, I don't think it was you. I think it was the car. Really. Exactly. It's, it's, and if I, if I was driving your car, I would have been last as well. Exactly. So the Astron we is... It's the best car here. Yes, that, that's a great No, conclusion. the most expensive yes, it car. Is. It's clearly just mine is the no, best no, no. car. But clearly, we couldn't decide which was the best car after the first challenge. So the producers told us to head to a nearby field, where we'd be given information for challenge number two. Why are we stood here looking at cows? Ah, yes, I can answer that. Uh, so we were told to come here for our next challenge. Um, and this is what it says. Uh, utility. Whilst you've proven how sporty your SUVs are, Ian and I have, Sam hasn't, um, for your next challenge, you will now prove how useful they are with the utility challenge. Um, right. <laughs> I think this cow has just answered what our next challenge <laughs> is. You will, now <laughs> you will now each take it in turns to herd as many cows as possible in two minutes. What does that have to do with anything? I, I don't know. Right. But what I am going to suggest is that we take it in turns now to maybe drive each other's cars. I think, Ian, I'd like to drive yours because it was pretty quick around the track. And I think it'll be even better at herding aminals. Sure, if I get to drive Sam's. Oh, no. Now leave me with yours. Okay, Tom. Are you ready to herd some cows? Yes. I think so. Okay. Well, I'm going to cow to you down. I hate you so much. Three, two, one, go. Right, okay, we're off. Um, cow, move. Move. Oh, there we go. Right, he's, mo he's moving. There we go. Yes. <laughs> come on. Come on. Here we go. Right, that's one, one, cow, one cow done. Wonderful. Right, you, this cow, come here. Come on. Come on. In. Right, that's oh. good. <laughs> it's come back out. The cow Wait, has walked no, back out. No, a cow has just escaped. <laughs> no, go back in there. Where's it going? Come back. Right, there we go. It's going back. There we go. No, it's leaving the field. No, where's it going? Right, they're useless. I'm going to go grab one of these. Right, you. Go in the bloody pen. Go in the pen. There we go. Yes. No. No, don't go that way. That's the wrong way. Yeah, Tom's really bad at this. Where's this cow going? Stupid cow. Come on, where are you going? Right, one more cow. You, go into the thing. There we go. Right, go back into the... There's a pig in the field. And your time's There's up. Pig in the field. <laughs> I'd just like to say, right, I herded two field. cows. And, and then they left. So I don't care. I got two. There's a pig in the field. Two, two is the score to beat. Sam, you're going next. <laughs> Once Sam had recovered from his laughing fit, it was then his turn in the Novak. I think I'm going to be slightly out of my depth here. Um, I'm also not a fan of the car. Oh, well, over. we're about to find out how good it is at herding cows. So, uh, three, two, one, begin! Here we go. Wheel spin. Now, I've got to... He's, he's going... He's, he's, he's just hit a cow. Right. Come on, cows. This way. No, no, no. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Okay. They've already gone. He's, he's, he's left the field. Yeah, that, that cow is not gone. Okay. That way. Yes. Scare the cow. Go left. No, not that way. He's got the cow running. Go the other way. 
He's just going in circles. Oh, there we go. Hang on. No, he's going the wrong way. He's going to leave the Don't thing. Don't move. <laughs> Don't go that way. Don't go down there. <laughs> okay. Three cows have gone. And just when we thought things couldn't get worse for Sam, they did. Come on. Ooh, he's, he's broken the fence. Hang on, and that's just Ooh, let more cow. cows out. No, the cow. No, 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 Two, one, go! Right. One right here. If you just head straight forward, sir. Uh, I mean, ma'am. Oops. Uh, trip is just tripped over. Come on. Come on. It's okay. He's okay. She's okay. Right, move. Go. That's the one. Oh, he's going in. He's got a cow. He's actually heard a cow. Well done, Ian. Right. Well done. That's one down. Right. Now, you seem to be enjoying something there, but we need to get you moving. Oh! He's got two. another cow! Two! Ian's done this before. No, wait, cows, they don't like red, do they? That's a good point. They don't actually like the colour red. They don't like the colour no red. No way is he going to get three. One, just that way a little bit. No there we way! Go. He's got like this! He's got yes, three cows! Number three. Oh. It turned out that Ian was so good at herding cows that he eventually decided to start herding other animals as well. Go on, pig! Yes! Oh, how much time have I got left? And that is time. That is two minutes. I, I, I am absolutely stunned. Old Muck Ian. I mean, your last name is McNally, so Muck That is true. There we go. That, it's all part McDonald's, of the name. Yeah, um, yeah. So we've done sports. We've done utility. How are we going to test vehicle? So after our trial by farm for our third challenge, we were told to head over to the Sandy Shores airfield, where three vans were lined up on what seemed like a starting line. Why are we looking at some vans? Um, I don't know. I can just see some markers up ahead and some markers here, so I'm assuming we're going to just do some sort of drag race. Um, no, we are not. It says, to prove how good your SUVs are at being vehicles, for your next challenge, you will now compete in a push race. The first person to push their pony across the finish line wins. A push race. This is a stupid idea. Stupid idea or not, we lined up in our SUVs and got ready to push some ponies. Right, we are off. And it's not budging. Oh my god, look at Sam go. go! Ah, there we are. How the hell's he doing that? The Revlon GTS. Oh, I've kind of pushed it off the he's, road. He's oh, we've done it, we've done it. Has right. he technically Come done on. it if he's missed the line? Come on. Oh my goodness. How's he doing that? How's Sam finished? It's not quite pushing, it's more shoving and barging it, but sure. Come on! I thought Sam said this car was good! Ian's slowly bringing up the uh, the rear here. See what I did there? Pony joke. Come on! Here he is. About time. Very right, good. There we go. Good. Across the line. So with the Novak crossing the line in second, it was then all down to me and the Astron. But progress was pretty slow. Move, you stupid van! It is quite impressive for a man that's making a lot of noise. It's not a lot of movement. Yeah. Um, Why is going to the pub? I think we've got plenty of time. <laughs> it just spins its wheels. It's not doing anything. Do you reckon he's finished by now? I don't think he'd be anywhere near done. Come on! Please! Move. At this point, we thought we were done with testing out our SUVs. However, the producers insisted that we had one more challenge left to complete and told us to meet on a hill during a blizzard. Hello, gentlemen. It's uh, It's been a while. It's um... You finally managed to push the pony across the line? Yes. Yes, I did. I had to I had to wait an entire season uh, in order for the conditions to get much colder and icier so that it would actually move. Too much friction, you see. Yeah, it's now September. It is. It, it took me a while. So what are we doing here? Why am I stood out here cold well, looking at some snow? I thought we were done with this challenge, if I'm being honest. But um, apparently the producers insisted that SUVs is four letters. It's S U V and S. SUVs. No, um, we've tested okay. the sports, the utility, 
and the vehicle of these SUVs. I don't, I don't think, I think they've got well, that wrong. Well, I, I don't understand what S could mean. So uh, let's have a look. Um, as everyone knows, the final letter of SUVs stands for skiing. So for your final challenge, you will now take it in turns to complete a slalom down a ski slope. Whoever has the fastest possible time wins. Where is this uh I was just slalom. about to say where is this slalom? I'm pretty sure I see a start line just over there. Let's um let's just go I'm gonna go take a look. This is um <laughs> this is quite steep. <laughs> this must be the steepest ski slope in the entire GTA game. This doesn't look safe. I didn't know Los Santos had a ski slope. Upon further inspection, we noticed that the producers didn't use cones for us to slalom through. They used road signs instead. Oh, that's a, that's a welcoming sign. Wait, so we can't go past here? Oh, it's the wrong way, guys. I've got to turn around at this point. Why do all our characters walk like they've got piles? Well, that's nice. They've actually closed the road off for us. So we can jump over it without crashing at all in any way shape or form this is the least safest thing i think we've ever done it's up there. this is this is one of the best things we've ever done oh great well if you think so you can go first excellent bring on the astron okay sam are you ready to be the first person to ever i think drive a astron down a ski slope in gta online yes right okay three two one go here we go not be launched there. The rally pedigree of the Fister coming into its own here, slipping through the slalom beautifully. I can't see him anymore. Hang on, I got an idea. Oh, what a graceful landing here. The sportiness of this SUV coming into its own. It's got a tunnel! There's a tunnel! I think he's going through the tunnel. Looks like it. That push didn't do me very well, sliding through the tunnel. Coming at the other end. Another tight slalom here. And it's staying lane and can't park here, but there is pedestrians, so watch out for those. A sprint to the finish. And across the line. I think Sam's just finished. Oh, wow. Right, that's Sam across the line. I think it's my turn then. Okay. You can put the binoculars down now. Tom, are you ready? I think so, yes. Right then. Three, two, one. Go. Oh my god, right, it's a good start. We just gotta make sure that we don't bother into any of the signs. Okay, we can't turn left apparently. But I need to to go over this jump. That's a lot of air. That's a lot of air. Right, land. Okay, don't hit the sign. That's very sideways. Okay, through this sort of crevice canyon. Ooh, don't hit the sign, Matthews. We're going through a tunnel. Out the other side. We're gonna land it. We're gonna not hit this sign. Stay in lane. Ooh. Oh, this is a very slow part. But there's the finish line. Foot to the floor. Here we go. And across the line. That was tremendous amounts of fun. I know. I can't wait to do it again. I, I want this to be an Olympic sport. Right. Tom is across the line. Now it's my turn. So, with myself and Sam both completing the best ski course ever made, it was then time for the Jamaica Ian bobsleigh team. Are you ready, Ian? Yes. Okay then. Ian, three. Oh, uh, yep, I'm here. Right, get ready in three, two, one, ski! Okay, here we go. That's it. First couple of signs go. Oh, careful now. Okay, we're good. Now time for the big jump. Oh. Do you reckon he's dead? Oh, 100%. Oh my goodness! Oh. Right, okay, landed it. We're good. Starting through there. Oh, that's a narrow section that. And around this side, and that side, through this tight tunnel. Okay, speed straight out. Oh my god, this is tight around here. Oh, there he is, there he is. Careful now. All good, all good. Here he comes. Finishing line. And across the line. So, it seems that we have put these vehicles through their paces. And I'm excited to see which one's been proven the best, because obviously we're now SUV experts. Sam, you were the first to go down the ski slope. Your time was... 30... Yes. 5... Yes. 0.7. Oh, really? Yes. That's pretty good. Th that is very good. Okay, now, Tom, so then the no I believe I believe you were second to go down the ski slope, weren't you? Yes. Now... <clears throat> 
You also did it in A30. Yes. Five. Yes. Point. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, this is where it gets quite interesting. <laughs> Ian. Hello. You were the last person to go down the ski slope. I was. Would you like to know your time? I would love to know my time, Tom. <laughs> it was a 30. Right. Five. <laughs> okay. Point seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So... <laughs> So what we've proven so is this challenge is irrelevant. It's proved absolutely nothing. It's the best challenge we've ever done, and it's proved n- absolutely <laughs> nothing. So, I think we actually have a bombshell to end on for once. <laughs> it turns out that if you want the best SUV on GT Online, it it, it doesn't matter because if you're going to drive down a ski slope, they're all exactly the same. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, good night.